There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. and Devos. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having like a really great day. This is video number five for me today. I'm not really sure what order I'm gonna put them in, but let me tell y'all, this is gonna be the last daggone headband wig. Well, not this one, because I got one more to do after this one. I love headband wigs. I think they're so easy to install. You can wear them anytime. You can look cute at the gym. You can look cute in the pool. You can look cute at the music park. You can look cute in school. You can look cute at the doctor's office. You can look cute in the ER. Or you can look cute wherever, wherever you are, okay? That being said, this gonna be, these two are going to be the last two headband wigs so I hope because I'm not really sure if I accepted a collaboration for a headband wig unless it's something really really totally different I love headband wigs don't get me wrong so many you can do so with that being said I worked with this company prior I think like two or three other videos and this is the fly on wig they sent me a headband wig of course um, I'm gonna just show you how it comes and Guys, this part is gonna be super easy I really don't need to tell you too much about this because I'm pretty sure y'all seen enough of these headband wigs girl okay so I'm just gonna slip this headband wig on I'm not gonna do a lot of styles with it because you guys have seen so many different styles and I really wanted to see how the curl pattern was but when I noticed it it just looked like the curl pattern had just got looser after I washed it I did not do anything to this wig but just wash it like co-wash it and it didn't seem like it wanted to curl back up. I did let it air dry because I'm not about to be blow drying nobody's wigs. Just too much time consuming. But you know, so I'm just gonna wet it with some of my conditioner water and see what it do, boo. But from the looks of it, the curls have dropped and I'm not really sure what happened, but we're just gonna go ahead and style this one. Like I like the color, however, I do wish it wasn't so much chunkiness and a little bit softer highlights. And maybe because I do notice that the curl pattern dropped on the colored portion of the hair. So I think because it was processed with color, it lost its curl pattern and that's normally what happens when you um, use bleach or any type of hair color to curly hair it will lose the curl pattern. Not totally, but enough. So I'm thinking that that's what happened with this particular headband wig. But girl, you can definitely curl it on your own if you choose to, or just wear it in a different way. So, you know, let me know after this commentary, girl. I wanna be your best friend, your best friend. I wanna be around you all the time. You don't understand, you don't need to worry. I mean, everything I said, 
Okay, you guys, so that is it for this wig. This was a headband wig. It shouldn't be no long, overdrawn tutorial. It's simple, easy to do. Like, when I got the wig, as you guys seen when I received it, it was very curly, and once I washed it, the curls never came back. Like, I didn't do anything to it. I just washed it. I co-washed it with some conditioner, and then I hung it to dry, air dry. The curls seemed like they dropped a whole lot. I wish that the curls was a little bit more curly. So for me, the best thing for me to do with this one was to put it up in a bun. You can easily recurl it yourself if that's what you choose to do, but for this particular one, I just decided to put it up in a bun. That way, you don't see like the drop curls. The color mixture is nice. On a scale of one to 10, I would probably give this one like a seven because of the drop curls. Now, I'm just keeping it real, I'm being honest. It's like when keeping it real goes wrong. Not today, hon, not today, hon. But as far as the make of it, the creation of it, it fit comfortable. I did have it really tight, so it was like a struggle to put on because I had the hook so close. Um, it did come with two headbands and a mask. It was a matching headband and mask. You can hook your mask to the headband. I've seen a lot of women wear those. I love headbands. I'm not going to sit here and say I love masks because I don't. I'm kind of like over the whole face mask thing. Pretty sure I'm not the only one. And I get it. Everybody's trying to accessorize their face mask, but I'm not really trying to do that anymore because I'm over it now. In the beginning, I was like, yeah, let me make sure this matches with my headband or my headscarf or what have you. But now I just listen, honey. I put on a mask and that's it because I'm not really trying to be accessorized. You know, it's just... This is like a long overdrawn thing now to me. But I appreciate the free head mask and matching headbands. Um, you know what I'm saying? Not sure if I will wear them as a set, but I'll definitely wear them. They fly on wigs. They have some cute units available on their website. This is probably like the third or fourth time for me working with them. And on that note, I got to go. Got to do my last video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay diva and divalicious. I love you all and be safe out there. And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it. And that's about it. Till the next time, see you when I see you.